Dewar are proceeding to the stage where he will deliver his speech in hopes of persuading this crowd to vote for him. He has 20 minutes, all told. That is to say, the nominating speech, his own speech, and the ovation that follows 20 minutes all told to sell his message tonight to this crowd of delegates. Here's Gary Dewar. Thank you very, very much, Muriel, for those very, very kind words. New Democrats, Manitobans, delegates in this great hall this evening, and delegates all across this province, we are here this evening to discuss leadership, to discuss the kind of leadership that will be required to take this province into the 90s, the leadership required to build a decade of social and economic justice. On April 26, Manitobans will have to make choices. They will be asked to choose the kind of future they want. They will be asked to choose the party they believe is best able to provide that leadership for the future. New Democrats, I believe that on April 26, Manitobans will vote yes to a future of social and economic justice and will vote yes to the New Democratic Party. If, if we as Manitobans are to build a province committed to social and economic justice, we will need leadership that is decisive, forward-looking, and honest. And we will need leadership that will get the job done with Manitobans and for Manitobans. And we know, New Democrats, and Manitobans know, that that type of leadership will not be provided by Gary Philman, and that type of leadership will not be provided by the Liberals in this province. Gary Philman's record on leadership has been a total disaster. In the legislature, in the caucus, in his party, and in our province. Not only has Gary Philman proven he can't get things done, Gary Philman has proven he doesn't even know what he wants to do. One day, one day he's going to reduce or eliminate the taxes. The next day, he's not. On the third day, he's going to privatize the Public Insurance Corporation. On the next day, he's not. On the sixth day, he's going to reduce taxes for corporations. And on the afternoon of the sixth day, he's not. And on the seventh day, Gary Philman huddles with his handlers, and we all try to figure out what he's going to try to do to us next. Manitobans will not accept that type of leadership. Manitobans deserve better, and they will say so on April the 26th. <laughs> and what about the Liberals? What about the Liberals? What can we say about the Liberals? Promises, 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 promises. Every day and every hour a new promise. Promises for all things for all people. Sharon Carstairs is just beginning to discover that all her promises and all her parades are not going in the same direction. Even a liberal can figure out that you can't try to run in front of a parade that's heading to the east and at the same time try to lead a parade that is going to the west. <laughs> when Manitobans want a health care system where money is spent on the people and the needs of the people, she says, me too. <laughs> when doctors come parading by her house, and ask for a $20,000 raise, Wilson, she says, me too. 
when the Conservatives promised lower taxes and user fees in our health care system, she says, me too. That's not leadership. That's not what Manitobans deserve. New Democrats will fight in this election to ensure that there's no user fees in our health care system. We will fight. We will fight. We will fight to ensure that there's not one health care system for the rich and another health care system for the rest of us. That's what Manitobans will fight on April the 26th. And that's why we will say no to the Liberals. New Democrats, Manitobans, there is only one party with the commitment and leadership it's going to take to get the job done. And that's the New Democratic Party. We, we begin building for the 90s with a strong foundation that we've placed under this province in the 80s. We have had the lowest unemployment rate. We have had the best economic growth of any province in Canada. We have had the best job creation programs. We have had the finest health care system in the country. We have had the best child care program in the country. We have had the best and most balanced labor legislation in the country with the lowest days lost for strike and lockout. We have had, we have had the best consumer protection legislation in the country and the finest and most balanced human rights legislation in the country. I am proud of the record of Howard Pauley and the New Democratic Party, and I know you are. Yes, there's things we could have done better. But I want to say to you tonight, and to say to Manitobans, I have been proud of the record of Howard Pauley and the New De Democratic Party, both as a cabinet minister and as a Manitoban. And I know you are too. I believe it was Ed Broadbent that said it best whenever, when he stated that if a words of integrity, honesty, and decency should ever be used with any Canadian public figure, those words should be used to describe Premier Howard Pauley. If there were more politicians in Canada like Howard Pauley, not only would this be a better nation, it would be a nation that respected its politicians. Our new government, under new leadership, will build on the commitment to fairness and to justice. It will have to do the things necessary to make this province a better place to live for ordinary men and women and for their families. And I see what the future must be. I, must, I believe we must start with a fair tax system. Canadians have got a tax system that has been developed by the Conservative and Liberal governments in Ottawa over the years that allows for a $45 billion worth of exemptions to take place for the wealthy and for the corporations in this country. Our tax system has become a welfare program for the rich, and we say as a federal New Democratic Party, when we elect that broadband as prime minister, we will stop that welfare program in this country. And I also pledge to you, New Democrats and Manitobans, that we must do everything possible as a provincial government to make our tax system as fair as possible for low and average income earners in this province. I believe that Manitoba in the 90s must be based on economic justice. That means creating jobs in Manitoba. That means strong leadership willing to take action to help and protect workers with plant closures. I believe the Manitoba of the 90s must have as its cornerstone a universal health care system free of user fees and free of extra charges. This is the system we must fight to develop in the 90s, and it is going to require the type of leadership 
the new Democratic Party has provided for 40 years to protect, protect our health care system into the 90s. And I believe a Manitoba of the 90s must have an economic development strategy which is planned and cooperative with workers and farmers and companies and small business and government and consumers working together to plan our economy, working together to create the jobs, working together to keep the jobs, working together to build Manitoba. And I, I believe, I believe that our economy must have a strong private sector and a strong public sector. And Manitobans remember, our public corporations have served us well. Our public corporations have served us in a way second to no other province or no other federal government in Canada. Our hydro has the lowest rates in Canada. Our telephone system has the lowest rates in Canada. Our public insurance corporation has the lowest rates in Canada. And the investments and jobs stay in Manitoba where they belong. And we will fight that on April the 26th. <laughs> New Democrats, I believe a Manitoba of the, in the 90s must provide to our seniors and our aging the ability to live in their community and other alternative facilities with dignity and grace, the dignity and grace that they deserve. And I believe, I believe a Manitoba of the 90s must meet, meet the needs and aspirations and dreams of our youth. The youth of this province must have confidence in their government, government that will show the leadership required not just to prepare the future for our young people, but to prepare our young people for the future. And we will do that. I believe, I believe in a Manitoba of the 90s that balances environmental and economic concerns in a fair way for all Manitobans. I believe a Manitoba of the 90s that remains deeply rooted in rural Manitoba, that will strengthen rural Manitoba and work to use the new technology to develop all our areas of the province, to ensure that Manitobans in Russell, to ensure that Manitobans in Dauphin, to ensure that Manitobans in Emerson, to ensure the Manitobans in Lactabani will share in the prosperity, will share in the total prosperity of our great province. I believe, New Democrats, I believe in the 90s for Manitoba that we'll have truly equal access to all, to all our, our multicultural communities in our province. And I believe a Manitoba of the 90s must open our doors and work with our native people to make this province a fairer place to live for all of our Manitobans. I believe, I believe in a Manitoba of the 90s must be continued committed to a northern economic development strategy for Ma northerners developed by northerners with training and education programs developed by northerners and given by northerners in the north and i'm committed to that in the 90s and new democrats and new democrats i believe that our cities in this great province must be planned by and for the people. We cannot allow the Tories and the Liberals to plan our cities in the back rooms of these communities. We must plan it together. And that, New Democrats, and that, New Democrats, is what this election is all about. That is what the fight is all about. That is why we are going to win on April the 26th. New Democrats, New Democrats, we just don't talk about pay equity, we do it. We don't just talk about affirmative action, we do it. We just don't talk about creating jobs, we do it. We just don't talk about childcare, 
we do it. I promise you that we have the vision, the ideas, and the energy, and we will win together on April 26th, and we will forge a new future together, together as New Democrats with Manitobans on April the 26th. Thank you very much. Doer, the first of five speakers tonight at this NDP leadership convention, evidently somewhat nervous about having to make his speech. He appeared to be a bit strained, and he used his speech for some campaign rhetoric as much as anything else. That is, of course, under the circumstances, all of those points understandable. Bill Blakey, did he address some of the issues that the delegates worry about out there in terms of Doer's capacity to lead this party? Well, I think, as you say, Mike, there was a, it was an election campaign speech and uh, not so much a leadership speech. Uh, I suppose the thought behind that was to demonstrate uh, what he would be like on the hustings uh, as the leader. He tried to uh, cover all the bases uh, in, a, in the very short time that he had. Uh, but uh, the one thing that I noticed that was uh, missing and is certainly something that uh, I think uh, all the Democrats would want to, to uh, know the uh, uh, the position of leader on was the whole the, the free trade agreement. I mean, this is a major national issue, and that was one of the things that I was looking uh, for in a speech, and I would be looking for in future speeches, and it wasn't there. Yeah, there was a question also of his uh, reputation as a Johnny come lately, and we'll get to that in a few moments, uh, Bill Blakey. But right.